Hey guys, it's Michael. Welcome back to Michael in the Morning. Today is Tuesday, August 18th, 2020, and we have a lot of big news to cover with the second stimulus check and second stimulus package. In today's video, we're going to go over a surprising interview from Senator Mitch McConnell, who visited South Central Kentucky on Monday and spoke at the Medical Center at Caverna about the second stimulus check, mail-in voting, schools reopening, and more. We're going to go over exactly what he said about the $1,200 check. Then we're going to get into how economists warned Congress on Monday about the lack of fiscal support moving forward and what will happen to the economy if we don't see this second stimulus package soon. And Finally, we're going to go over how President Donald Trump on Monday reaffirmed his commitment to sending more money directly to the American people while defending the changes that they have made to the Postal Service. So we're going to go over exactly what he said about the $1,200 checks and what he said about the Postal Service and the changes they are making there as well. Well, but before we get started, it would really mean a lot if you could like the video down below and subscribe to my channel so you could stay up to date on the second stimulus check, second stimulus package, as well as other news updates. It says that 70% of you watching this video are not subscribed to my channel. So just make sure to subscribe so you can get notified when new videos come out. Also, don't forget, you can get two free stocks valued up to $1,400 when you download the Webull investing app using the link down below. I've been getting a lot of positive comments about people who downloaded the app and received 200, 300, and some people even received $400 when downloading the app. Also, you can get $5 immediately when you download the Acorns investment app. So Senator Mitch McConnell visited South Central Kentucky on Monday and spoke at the Medical Center at Caverna about the second stimulus check, mail-in voting, schools reopening, and more. He was asked specifically about another $1,200 stimulus check, what he thinks about it, and if we will receive one very soon. Mitch McConnell said, let me tell you, I put together a bill of about a trillion dollars the other week, which you can see has not gotten much traction with the Democrats, but it did include a $1,200 hundred dollar payment. He goes on to say that people in the hospitality industry that work in hotels or restaurants have really been hurt and really been hammered hard from this pandemic and that they need another direct stimulus check. He says that he assumes that we will have another $1,200 check in the next relief bill as soon as Congress can agree and get the next bill passed. He said that we do need another bill and he's hoping that we can get it signed soon, maybe even at the end of this week. House Democrats were called back into session on Saturday, which I've addressed in previous videos, but this is good news because now they're going to be talking about getting a bill passed. They're mainly focused on the Postal Service. However, Republicans and White House administration said they will only pass a bill if it includes a $1,200 check. However, he goes on to say that at the moment right now, he can't give us 100% certainty a date on when we can expect to receive the checks or when the bill can pass. All he knows right now is that we definitely need a $1,200 check. We definitely need a second stimulus bill. Both the Democrats and Republicans agree on this. So he says it's just a matter of time. Economists warned Congress on Monday about the lack of fiscal support right now because the enhanced unemployment benefits, the $600 per week payments have stopped. Ernie Tedeschi, an economist that was part of the Obama administration, said Monday that by his calculations, total unemployment payments have dropped by about $15 billion per week since the enhanced unemployment benefits expired and how that's equivalent to almost 4% of the GDP of the whole country. In addition to this, analysts at the Peterson Institute of International Economics said the same thing. They warned that the failure of lawmakers to agree on a new relief package that renews expired programs like the $1,200 check, the $600 per week enhanced unemployment benefits, those expiring, those threaten to induce stimulus effects of the previous bills and they could exasperate the economic damage from the lockdown that we had. They go on to say that assuming no more stimulus is passed, the recession would be deeper than otherwise with a loss of GDP from four to 5% and also a four to 5% increase in the unemployment rate as well. So this is in line with what Ernie Tedeschi said. They explained that US policymakers should at least maintain the stimulus packages and the stimulus measures that were provided in the CARES Act to prevent further induced economic damage because in the current state of the economy, they said destimulation and not passing more is a very poor policy 
choice. They explain how we should at least be keeping the same stimulus measures in place. So we should have the $600 per week payment for people who are unemployed and the $1,200 check. They said that is the bare minimum of what we should have. And if Congress doesn't go on to pass this, there will be severe negative effects on the economy long term and we'll see more people lose their jobs and become unemployed again. And finally, President Donald Trump on Monday, he reaffirmed his commitment to sending out more money directly, more direct stimulus checks to Americans while also defending policy changes to the postal service. He said, we want money to go to the people that need it with this next bill. He said, there's been a lot of controversy over cost cutting changes to the postal service, which is why Nancy Pelosi and House Democrats called back the House to vote on it. Right now, people are worried about slower mailing times because they not only affect vote by mail programs in the upcoming election in November, and they also affect the accuracy of the vote by mail program, but also because of the second stimulus check, because mail times affect how quickly people can receive their direct checks. Tens of millions of people received their first stimulus check in the mail and millions are expected to receive the second stimulus check when it passes in the mail as well. According to Mark Mazur, director at the Urban Bookings Tax Policy Center, he explained that according to research, approximately 80% of the second stimulus checks would be made through direct deposit. However, the remaining 20% of people who receive a $1,200 second stimulus check, they may be subject to delays caused by the postal service changes. And he says that is why there's a lot of debate going on right now. And that is one of the major reasons why Congress is being called back early from its August recess. Trump goes on to explain that he has encouraged everybody to speed up the mail, not slow it down. However, he said that he also wants to have a post office that runs without losing billions and billions of dollars every single year, as it has been doing for over 50 years. He said that is why some of these changes were made, because they need to cut costs, because it's not a good business to have a postal service that is losing tens of billions of dollars every single year. Year. So right now we have great news because Congress is coming back into session. Their main focus right now is going to be addressing the Postal Service, which I addressed in yesterday's video, which I'll link down below. But they're also going to talk about the $1,200 check and including some other direct stimulus measures in this bill that they will pass for the Postal service. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. That is just a quick update on what is going on with the second stimulus check and second stimulus package as of Tuesday, August 18th, 2020. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to get your two free stocks valued up to $1,400 when you download the Webull investing app using the link down below and get $5 immediately when you download the Acorns investment app as well. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like the video down below, leave a comment and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.